welcome back everyone so many people ask me a common question that how to keep the computer safe and protected with another question that do they need any kind of third party antivirus like norton mcafee or the kasperisky or they can continue with the windows security only so you might also have the same question and you might be confused that whether you have to go with a third party antivirus or you need to continue with the windows security only now my personal recommendation after several years of experience and using different kind of securities i would recommend you to go with only windows security only as it is capable enough to give you all kind of protection and let me give you some examples here number one after testing many kind of third party antivirus and comparing it with the windows 11 security i found that the security level is almost same provided by the third party antivirus and the windows 11 number two why i'm not recommending you once you install any kind of third party antivirus they will be occupying a lot of resources that basically slow down the performance of your computer and even it block many unkind of unwanted application and file and of course you are spending the money in order to buy the third party antivirus so why to spend any kind of money and why to have the slow performance of your pc if you are getting all kind of security with the windows 11 only and additionally i will be sharing a free tool here by the name configure defender that will be giving you the advanced protection level and will be enhancing the security of windows 11 so that you can get the maximum protection and that's the reason i said that say buy to the third party antivirus and continue with the windows 11 security so now without any delay let's quickly get started Okay, so right now I'm on my Windows 11 and before starting, I would recommend you that kindly go ahead and create a restore point in case if you're not able to manage or configure the security properly, then at least you can restore the computer back. First, you need to click on your Windows search, type restore and from the suggestion, you need to click on create a restore point. At the bottom, you will find the create option. If this is not being highlighted, click on configure turn on the system protection click on apply click on ok and now you can click on create give a restore point so i will type configure defender and then you need to click on create and it will take few seconds only and a restore point will be quickly created and the restore point will be created so now we are good to go and we can apply any kind of changes and the very first thing that you have to do you need to make sure that all kind of your windows security are being enabled so right click on the windows icon click on settings in the setting from the left hand menu option you need to click on privacy and security then click on windows security at the very top and it will show you all kind of your windows security you can also click on open windows security and it will bring up a dedicated page of the windows security now here you get different kind of security i have already created a video on this that what exactly these protection provide you so that you can better understand kindly check that video so that you should have enough information now what you need to make sure you need to click on virus and threat protection click on manage settings and make sure this all real-time cloud delivered automatic sample submission tamper protection control folder access all these protections are being enabled all right so click on them one by one and assure that all kind of protections are being enabled do the same with the firewall app and browser control device security you can go in the core isolation and also enable the memory integrity it's a very powerful security that will be protecting you and it might ask you to restart the device so you can go ahead and restart the computer okay so just make sure all the securities are being enabled and once you are done now you can minimize it next you need to bring up any of your favorite browser and in the search you have to type defender configure download hit the enter key and then you have to look for the github website that says andy full configure defender so make sure that you only click on this link not any other github link that is andy full now once the page comes up here you have to click on the code section click on the drop down and click on download zip and the downloading will be started now next what you have to download again go to the search and instead of defender configure you have to type hard configurator download 
and again you will be getting a link of the github with andy full hard configurator all right so make sure you only click on this link and once the github page comes up again click on the code drop down click on download zip so once both the files are being downloaded you need to open the downloaded folder and here we can find both the file of hard configurator and configure defender so first you need to extract the file of configure defender so right click on it click on extract all click on extract once extracted open the configure defender folder double click on it and here you'll find the configure defender file that is an application file and before running the file if you want to read more about it then you can double click on readme.md and open it with the notepad click on just once and here it will give you the detailed information about the overview the installation steps what all is included and how exactly it work what kind of changes are being done from the registry and from the other location okay so you can go through with this i have already read all these information and everything seems to be good for me now next again you have to right click on the configure defender click run as admin click on yes and after that finally you will be getting this kind of dashboard now here it gives you the protection level if you go with the default then the windows security will be normally working then you have the high option interactive option and the maximum option so what you have to do here you need to click on max then click on continue click on ok and it will say max protection level if you apply the protection on the computer of the child or the casual user then it is recommended to hide windows security center now if you are enhancing the security on your child computer or someone whom you don't want that they should check the windows security then you can go with the hide option but if you are doing this on your own computer then you need to click on keep unhidden and then it will say maximum level configured now if you have a look here in the basic defender setting the behavior monitoring is been on block at first sight cloud delivered protection giving you the protection again the cloud automatic sample submission and keep this selected to send in case if this doesn't work properly then you can go ahead and disable it now basically automatic sample submission what exactly it does when there is any kind of malware detected or any kind of threat detected it uh, it create a sample of that file sent to the windows security and ask them that whether this security is malware or not so once it get confirmed that particular malware or file get automatically blocked okay so you need to make sure this is being selected to send it scan all downloaded file and attachment so yes you have to keep it to on a script scanning so if you would run any kind of a script like dot vbs or dot bat file or any kind of command file then that particular script will be scanned first so that it can identify whether it is safe or not again you have to keep this to enable then potentially unwanted application protection again you have to on cloud delivered level you need to keep it to block cloud checkout time limit basically set to 60 second if you want to reduce it then you can do it i will recommend you to keep as it is then you have the admin smart screen for the explorer it will block it edge and internet explorer so these are the settings that you can check out here and i will recommend you to keep it as it is and once it will be done you need to keep and close and now you can start using your security with the advanced level of protection now as we keep the option unhidden we can again come to the security and we can manage every setting from the windows security page only now this is the first step that you have to apply now we have to bring the another tool that we downloaded that is the hard configure so again right click on it click on extract all click on extract and the folder will be extracted double click on it and here you need to scroll down and you need to look for simple windows hardening double click on it and you will be getting two different folder here simple windows hardening 2111 and 2001 so if you have an old computer very old computer then you can go with this option but if you're using windows 10 11 or the newer computer then you have to go with this option so again right click on it click on extract all click on extract and once it will be extracted you will be getting this kind of file now here if you want to read about it then there is a pdf file you can bring it up and here you can read all the information about the developer website about the tool repository what all is included 
and it gives you the detailed information that how exactly you have to use it so if you need the step-by-step -step guide what exactly it contains then you can have a look here you can read all about it what exactly it provide you how exactly you have to use it i can't go in the detail guys but still i gave you a rough idea what you need to do here right click on the simple windows hardening 2111 click run as admin click on yes and this kind of simple dashboard will be up it says software restriction policies so make sure this option is being enabled windows hardening and also need to enable this option now what exactly you can do from here if you click on settings and click on protected srp extension so it gives you all kind of extensions that are being blocked now what will happen in the future if anybody try to run any kind of command like any kind of bad file dot vbs file what all has been included here they will not be able to run it so how you will be getting the protection here many time many kind of hackers or many kind of a scammer they try to run any kind of a script in order to get the full access of your computer or they try to run any kind of a script that contain a malware now they will not be able to run it but another thing that you have to keep in mind that whichever file you personally try to use so for example let me show you i have a test file here and it's a dot vbs file now if i make a double click on it it says your system administrator has blocked this program for more information contact your system admin so now what will happen even if somebody physically come on your computer try to run any kind of a script they will not be able to run it even if any hacker they try to run any kind of a script they will not be able to do that but in case if you want to run this kind of file and if you know this kind of file if you have such work then here you have to look for the vbs script select it and then you have to click on remove click on ok similarly you can look over all the extension here whichever you have the use like cmd if you don't want that the cmd command or cmd file should be blocked then you can select it and click on remove and if you want to add anything then you can click on add and add any kind of extension that you want to all right so in order to add it you need to click on add type the name of the file like i will add the vbs again and then simply click on ok so that's it similarly you can manage any kind of windows script host file either you can add it or you can remove it if you want to block or remove the powershell file then you can do it from here so now if i go back and again click on settings you get many other options like you can manage the powershell script you can manage the powershell script you can remove it or you can put any kind of restrictions and so there are many other options like srp policy scope remote access restrictions if you are more concerned about the remote access somebody remotely trying to access your computer then you can manage the restrictions from here you can click on restrict and the restriction will be increased and you will be having the enough protection so this way you can enhance the security of your windows 11 without using any kind of third party software and antivirus now keep in mind that this security is basically synced with your windows 11 security and so it work according to that so you are totally safe protected and now you don't need any kind of third party antivirus so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this information useful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye